Alright Sophia, I hope you're there. Anyway, I'm just going to make this three hour live stream of how to train your dog because it really isn't how to train your dog with an e-collar because if you don't know how to train your dog, an e-collar is just an amplifier. So it's going to make it more obvious. And I think what you have to say to yourself, I mean, the very first thing, if you've got to have a dog that really follows you, without belief them. If it's not going to follow you with that belief on, that's a pretty good indication of what it's going to do once the leash is there. You know, I'm not telling this dog to do anything. So, but that gives me a pretty good idea that if I do tell him to do something, he's probably going to do it. And, and the same works in reverse, too. If it doesn't follow you, I hope you're there, Sophia. I can't see the chat. Oh, hang on. Okay, um, um, you know, if it's not following you without the leash, you know, the leash is just going to make that work. So what I've got is my dog cuff. This is an old dog cuff. And you can see, like, it's not as loud as the... 280. It's definitely operating. There's got to be something you can put these things on. They'll bring it to me, though. And you really don't. You really want them to be neutral to the problem. So I already know I have a dog that will follow me. I don't want to make a big deal of putting the car up, and I don't want a dog checking and looking to see where my hands are and seeing whether it needs to be worried about me. I don't look at it. Alright, so now I've got my pager on. I've got my thing set on zero and of course to the antenna off, but it still works. So, you know, now I can just I can add my words, but I, I know just that he's gonna, you know, he's very concise. He's loose and concise at the same time. He's pulling him around like that. He's speeding up right there. I can turn him this way. He's not moving a lot. I've never told this dog to sit nor have I corrected it for not doing it. So there is a difference. Anyway, I think, I, I'm sure you can see my chalk lines are still there. Okay. I can pretty much count on it. Yeah, you can pretty much count on that with my chest. Hang on. cheapest part is right there, and that's the part that broke, and that's why it doesn't hold it up there that good. Okay. And he's got his own in there. I can get him on the platform. Once I'm in his proximity, he is drawn to me like a magnet. I 
go back. I'm trying to get what I'm doing. And that's kind of the end of the sequence. Those are kind of similar. The platform sort of begins and ends the sequence. And then that's why you're not losing animation. And if you said it's got too much animation. Yeah, I noticed that. Yeah, but I, I do minimal maintenance work with this dog. And it would be possible for somebody else to handle this dog. You know, if they're able to. I would even do that. to go up there and get an old coffee table and make it into one. It's not that difficult. It's just going to give you, and it's not a place, because he'll race me there. Yeah. That's how you know. I just want to get him in before he grabs his phone next. Yeah.
Let me just see what happened. She bought them, broke out. Anyway, I'm going to do a little bit of the deliver to him. But, you know, I think people have to be realistic. You need to go, you know, if you're a trainer, and go get the most advanced video you have. You need to say, you know, you need to be realistic and you need to maybe have people look at it and say, what can I do better? You know, unless you don't think there's anything you can do different, it's really like you've got to change things. People don't understand. They don't want to change anything. They want the dog to change. And from what I can gather, they don't change. Anyway, what I've got this with this dog is my... Oh, crap. I'm just getting ready to go dead. Hang on. It is dead. Hang on, let me get a different one. No! No! All right, so I got my old 280, which is a little bit closer, but I actually think it vibrates a little bit slower than the new 280. Anyway, but what you guys have to be realistic about is I'm going to take a somebody telling you there's things you need to change. You know? It's going to make everything easier for the dog to answer you. Because you're going to have little bits. And you can start getting air from there. This dog 
Well, we've done a lot of expressing that we no, you waited till it went to the end and was lunging and barking, and then you tried to pull it back. Anyway, this dog has a trained retreat, but it also has uh, a deliver to hand, which is part of a trained retreat. And uh, she bottom's probably going to try to ruin it for me, but she might just help. All right, so that's what I've got. But a deliver to hand is. The delivery hand is different than retrieving. If we said retrieving involves something being thrown, because deliver the hand doesn't involve anything being thrown. I want you guys to understand that. You could throw something and have the dog to deliver it to hand, but deliver to hand is a subtask. Oh, retrieving. Oh, boy, here we go. Oh, she's awful. She's going to want to do it. Let's look at the bug flies over there. So, that is, oh. yeah, there you go, and yeah, this is why it comes in handy. Come on, she'll pick everything up just if I just look at it. So their thought process is not it's a toy or I want to play or anything. It's a it's a fair exchange. This is how to get food. There's just an extra step. There's just an extra step. She's not gonna let him get that thing. She's gonna get it. She can pick up anything.
you know, where you're just dropping it. You're not, you know, that would be a practical application if you're the type that drops it. And he will bring it to the platform. And that's why they don't chew on it. You will get some chewers, but that's why they don't chew on it because It's sort of a mundane task. That's what you've got to kind of think of. If you said, well, how could you make it more exciting? Well, obviously, start waving the thing around, making a bunch of noises, throwing it, clapping my hands, hyping the whole game all up. So you do want it to be mundane in that it's just a simple task that they would be doing anyway. They would be picking something up anyway. You're just doing it in exchange for them getting something so all right let me go get a couple others out but i think you guys are getting the idea i mean you need to write that down you've got you can't just when people come and say well the dog is all this way and that way on the leash you've got to understand their handling skills are zero you know if they weren't you would be able to give them a highly trained dog and they'd be able to work it and they can't and if they've been, got, they, they've been on the other end of the leash for months and months and months you know, you can't say that this is an incorrigible dog. The only conclusion that you can come to is this is a very bad handler. It's awful, I know. It's awful. She will definitely fight with this bulldog. So anyway, this is the deaf bull terrier that it took me, and I will probably say that for the rest of my life. I remember how long it took me to get to, get to pick something up by just shaping the behavior. And I only did it 10 minutes a day, though. I mean, if you said, well, you've got two weeks to do it, I could probably do it. I mean, but you'd have to do it in very, very short little sessions. 
Anyway, but what I've got is my pager. This is my 280C. And if you said, what would you not want to do in this context or any context? that have uh, hit the dog with constant accidentally. So I am on zero. And this dog already, I mean, it's all, I'm always assessing them. How willing is this dog to even live with me? You know? If it has no interest in me at all, then I'm going to have to go back and start there. But anyway, he is... I only started doing this a couple of months ago, and I did the initial month. I did it every single day for a month, and you've got to have... Hi, Francisco. You've got to have the commitment to do it every single day, and there can't be an excuse. It's like when people tell me, I tell them to make a video of the dog. I'm starting to understand now if there's already four excuses because they don't have anyone to hold the camera, because they don't, da 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 then they're probably not gonna be able to train the dog because that's maybe who they are. There's always a lot of excuses why they can't do things. Anyway, but now what I've got is I've got my three dumbbells, and I wanna start making it just a simple drill. I think that's what you should, you know, if you spend all of your exercises have these little drills as components, the best way to do maintenance would be to just have structured little drills that you could do. And you don't just be already very interested. You know, and it's not like I'm going to... There's going to be, there's nothing you can do wrong, and I want you guys to understand that about the platform, and that's what's making it so better. much better is they're willing to learn because they're not thinking tomorrow no god no not this again all right so i've got my basket and i did all this for my friend mike in the uk who thinks i'm the greatest trainer ever and so then i make these ridiculous points then i have to follow through with them i one time said something crazy like oh i think i can get a blind deaf dog the crazy thing all right so there's my cone i think if i put my basket there And there's no command. I want you to understand that. There's no command. I do like the glasses so much because you can go like that. So this is what I want you to think of, Mike. You're tempering this down. Your hand is there. It starts to move, but then it stops. It's so... And this dog is deaf, so there's no command for pointing. Is it gonna, pointing is it gonna be more effective than looking? Only because I think they're hardwired to, to, to notice that. Oh, what a commit. Oh, we might be able to get, I'm gonna talk to Tim, the movie dog trainer. He might like you. They, they might be able to get you a role. I think you could actually temper it, Mike, where it was three little taps. One tap, two tap, three tap, and then there could always be five tap. <laughs> but there would want to be. All right, so he's got to get the basket too. I didn't break my chair in the basket. He knows that's what I'm looking at. He's smart little dog. I got two taps in, but then I stopped. You should be recognizing that. This is nice with the garden. That doesn't stop it from crying. So I'm making it. I was all, I, I curled my hand. I did everything. And you'll get it if I put a sock on there. But there's no more socks. The socks disappear. I can kind of feel it by going. I made a little move like I was going to do it. That was a little bit of a love and place ribbon because it got kind of awkward, but he'll pick it up from there a lot. Looks like I can throw my little hand move in, and I think you've got to establish that in the beginning. But you're going to reach for it. 
but you're limited. You've got a very limited time frame. That they're they've got a window. I think that's how we have to look at it. Like they've got a window that they've got to get it to you. Whoops. And if they miss the window. So if I, you know, if I do this three or four more days, so it's, it's a drill. It's a simple drill. But this dog can do it. Any dog can do it. You're not saying anything. You're not pointing. You know, if, if you're with somebody and you say, look over there, you don't necessarily point. You could, but it's not going to be as effective. They're going to look at your hand. If I point, he's going to look at the edge of my finger. It's going to happen. I want him looking at my own eyes. He doesn't want to get the basket. He doesn't want to have to see. Yeah, it's good job, though. And that was a false start. And he said, what does that mean? That means he's going to go. Oh, there's the that was a little bit of a loving place, but he made so much more of an effort. If you remember, Mike, he used to just, the way I knew he was getting, uh, uh, and that's behind the crystal out of my eye line, but I'm letting him know, I still see it. I can see through things. Watch his head. He can't help himself. My hand recoils. All right, let me go get this other deaf one out. But yeah, for this dog, I don't know, for me it's a big accomplishment. It took me a month just to get it to pick something up. And he started out, and you're going to get this. And, I, and I'm sure I can, if I keep at this, figure out ways to make sure that doesn't happen. But he would just push her out with his feet and stuff. So I was going to, like, turn him into a soccer dog. All right, let me get this other little deaf one out real quick.
shelter. I think it's actually, if you look at it, it looks like it might have the same father or something. Anyway, it's a very excitable dog, and it gets excited. So I don't, I don't get excited back, because if you said when a dog gets excited, and then you act excited, you're the one mirroring its behavior, not vice versa. So that's where you go wrong. And then later, if they're the ones that initiate the behaviors in you, you're not going to be able to turn the tables. So this dog only took me one day to get a for treatment. Yeah, I started picking up the stuff the first day. So I've got my 280C. I've got my, I should do a comparison one. But it is, it's, it's loud. And I'm not having any reaction to the dog. I'll tell you when I'm going to have a reaction. When it does something I want, she's going to run over to the other dog, watch. Just that's how she is. She's going to do that to everybody. And everyone isn't going to have the same reaction. If you have the reaction of getting all excited, what you don't understand, what people don't understand, is now you're creating a ritual. So now it's just a ritualistic behavior. It really isn't that the dog is so, so in love. It's, it's just a specific behavior. Oh, this collar's too small for her. All right, she's a collar for this girl. All right, so I just got my cone, and I do. I want to... I want to fidget it around. I don't know what you're doing all the time. And I got my little signals ready. You know, I want the dog to say, Dad, when I got that thing, it just came to life. You know, all the things to care about. You've got to be ready to guard the one. If you give them a chance, you know, some people just keep bringing them the toy, the people keep throwing it, they start hugging it, they keep bringing it, boom, boom. You've got to be fast. If you said, how fast should you give them the treat after they give you the thing? In less than a second. In less than a second you can do. Okay, that's so I, I was able to throw part of the sequence in. That's why it's going to work. If she sees me, I go like this with my hand, then I've got it. Once it's, I'm trying to complete the sequence. And they understand part of it's mine. I'm limited, you know. You're just... You're saying it like that, not I'm demanding, I'm limited. I'm limited to what I can do. My hand goes like that, but then it goes back all the time. That's just what it does. All right, so she got to get the basket, and she will get it. I, I, I don't know if she got it without the stock tied to it. My job is not to enjoy it. She might get mad. I just, it seems like a friendly dog. Just what I want you to say. Always start with this. Just start with this. If I had to guess, the dog is part, um, based on it. either Dalmatian or Feeler. Right, so I got part of my sequence in. That's all I need. Now nothing. Now nothing's happening. And I got one little pat in, and then, then it was gone. I've been watching you that close. If she looks back over here, I'm still looking that way. I honestly believe you can get any dog doing it. This dog has only had, you know, a handful of seconds.
that this dog is, but you said how could you have pause the dog? So I'll go get shoe bottom. Go get shoe bottom. This one's already shown this dog in the tree. Alright, now it's off. So that was kind of an eleventh place ribbon, but you know, I want her thing. Damn, it just came to life when I did that. So again, I'm limited. I tried though. Uh, that was pretty fast. I mean, you know, for a utility dog, honestly, if you could have any dog doing this in a couple weeks, I don't know why you wouldn't. I don't know why you wouldn't. You know, if, if we just said that's just a utility pet. Yeah, the fastest and I'm trying to make it seem like I'm doing it as fast as possible. And that's what the dog has to say to itself. It just came to life. I think I could see Mike, or you could really put a jump or anything. I'm going to go get uh, Daisy in a minute and do the phone thing. Boom, boom. It's not wait, polite, anything. Boom, boom. I'm, I'm not looking, I'm not acting invested in whatever it is either. I'm more invested in... Because nobody that would be that invested would be pulling their hand back. They would keep going after it. Alright, so I gotta try to get her to get the basket without all the fanfare. I think she'll do it. If I can get any part of my sequence in there, I'm seeing my that it work. If I can get any part, look, well, there's my default. If I'm able to throw, and that's why you've got to start a sequence right away. Because it's not, it's too random. It's too random. Anyway, I just heard go live for another uh, two hours and 15 minutes. So I'm going to train every dog here. No, I'm going to go get Daisy right now. But, that, you know, if I can, if you said go get about five more out that are do this, I can. And that's why I know it's easy. I'm not going to try to say, oh, my God, this is the most complex thing. You know, if Mike Lardy saw this, he would say, oh, yeah, we call that. We have a name for that in the world of professional retriever training. Pre-K! <laughs> that's what this guy says. All right, hang on. Let me go get a good one. Let me turn it off. I'll turn it off. I'll turn it off. I'll turn it Yeah, I'm glad you saw that because that dog has got all this strange of behavior. And you're going to see that. They're overly friendly. Daisy's like that. Overly friendly with people. And it's kind of playing an affable card because they've learned that that behavior gets a reaction. They're not even really concerned what kind of reaction. It gets a reaction. They got Daisy going around this cone. And you guys need to have a cone. And by cone, I just mean really a marker, but... All these people supposedly have these problems with this Velcro dog. Well, the obvious solution is to have the dog understand it can go away from you. But that's not what you meant. That it, when you meant for them to come to you, that you were not adding the additional, I don't want you to ever go away from me. That's what these, they don't understand that that's complete methodology failure. All right, let me grab Daisy real quick.
Now they're causing complete chaos. Hopefully they run out there. All right, so what I've got, and this is what you've got to think of, Seth, you've got to, because the dog's head is going to be now, it's it, it, like really honestly getting more of a high performance sports car. You've got to be ready to be able to steer the dog. But what I've got is my dog for 280C. I can't remember who was asking me about the ARC yesterday. I gotta go back and look. Anyway, never get that thing. That was where I really started not liking dog try after they came out with that thing and the pager was so weak. It was I've actually got videos with it. It was completely ineffective. Even on the deaf ones, any of them. Whatever frequency they found was one dog ignored for whatever reason. Maybe it was the same as seismic activity. I don't know. Or something. Anyway, this is, it's got a sound, and that's part of it. It is a sound. It's a vibration and the sound. So what I've got is a dog that's got a lot of detail on the leash. But again, I'm saying to myself in the beginning, if this dog won't even go with me if the leash isn't there, yeah, I've got to start there. I can't just put the leash on and start saying, come with me. So this is the dog, if you remember, that used to bite the leash. So I just kind of did it where I tie the leash in the knot step, and then I just kind of make it like I dropped it. and you step right off. Just step off. You don't hang around and fiddle around with it. Alright, so I'm just going to do a little on the leash because you've got to be able to rudder them on the leash. And if you said, what is that? You've got to find that out.
So there's my turn. Hey! OMG. Heel. And this dog is not that sensitive. Almost tell you. Heel. Down. Down. Oh boy. Daisy. You want to be able to drive onto the platform though. So I've got my box that says stuff. Maybe you should draw these on the driveway. I can turn. I'm doing my pager. The pager is on three sides of this box. Right there, 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 there. That's my pager. There's my page. Maybe the boxes, you know what, Mike? Maybe the boxes should be more of a, you know, they should have a more rounded top. Because that's your pager. You know, we could draw a top, or we could draw another line. I'm starting my pager, and then I'm ending it right there. Going. Starting my pager, ending it right there. So it's really not even. Yeah. Heel. I did yank on her right there because I don't need a dog fight. Heel. Oh, we've already had one of those. If you said, what did you do? I hit my neck when I did it. Heel. Heel. And then... That's my other thing. There's my pager. So now the pager's going this. I think we need to do that. Chelsea, if you're there. We need to draw, there's my pager, pager, bringing it right back to there. And there's my pager, now it's going the other way, click, click, click. We need to make for the clicking, you can make, you can make it a dotted line. Yeah. Down. That's my pager. Let me just give you the heel. The ability to be more consistent. Heel. I'm still looking at her now. And if you said, well, I can help her understand, I'll push, I can push you. And then I'm giving you the treat right where that X is. So it's reversed from this one. Turn, 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 turn. Right where the X is. And then honestly, I should be able to back it up between the two boxes. Even if it, even if it was like that dog blinking. Or the hand look. Yeah, so if you're walking in the dark and the leash is never in front of you like that, you're doing it wrong. You're doing it wrong. You know, it's just using the leash to help her, not not thinking of it now. And, you know, it's something that she's just a bite on like she used to. I can go right into the box. I'm not going fast. I'm doing everything. It'll be said, well, you can't, oh, the hell, I can't speed it up. I can make it go real fast. All I gotta do is add a little. Oh, there's my turn. Boom, there's my turn. And I want to be able to drive the dog forward. So if you if they have the impression that you're driving them forward, that's a lot different than holding them back. Right, I'm gonna have to get shoe bottom in the garage.
Oh, she got a look on her face. Hang on, I gotta do my cone thing first. This is the one I'll put the one on the cone. So I do have the cone in the same place. I'm gonna put it in the same place. I can't believe I got the cone in there. Okay, this is all I would do. I think it may be just a drill to help them understand your direction of travel. Or, and the direction you want them to set. So, if I go like this... And I do that, if you make it as fluid as possible... So, you're just adding pretty quick, because I'm just showing like this first. I don't think this is on the right side. Okay, so here we go. And that just means I'm going that way. I'm not telling her to do anything. And she said that's pointing. It's just indicating my direction of travel. I'm not pointing at anything. But you would make that eventually into a hand signal. I don't think it would take much. Just to see if I can get it. Let's just see if I can from here and look and get her to do it just by looking. I kind of think it's the same thing. And you've got to be ready to wait. Thank <laughs> you. 
say that at the beginning. I think it is important that you do tell them where is it going to travel away from the middle. You didn't have to know anything. Anything other than whatever this bell tape all did that you keep it here. Alright, I'm going to do this. It's going to go. You can't just realistically the dog. A penis would be the equivalent of like 20 minutes or 50 minutes. It really is. It's just a chance of a new piece. It's going to be right away back. than I do. Okay. Alright, so we've been live for over an hour now. Okay. that up with pager because it's very similar to the turn that you're doing. I'm going to do it. I'm going to show you. I'm going to do it with the pager. It's very similar to the turn you're doing with the pager. All right, sorry, you guys. That's what happens when the, a phone rings. Uh, anyway, I've got... I want you to get her some of these dumbbells, but I've got the dumbbells. I've got the two phone cases that represent a phone and then the keys. All right, so I'm just going to put them down here. for services rendered. Yay! All right, but you see what's happening. She's not going around the cone. She's going the wrong way. She might if I... I, I bend her that way a little bit. And remember, she's just handing it to you. You're not grabbing for it. If it falls on the ground, she's got to pick it up. All right, I'm going to try to bend her this way, Mike, with my just looking this way. Ah, it didn't work. be my basket placement. Oh, she's a smart
smart one, Steph, but you do. I think you do want to have them do it as a default, you know, and it would be something, who knows, Steph, you could be at the beach, you could be anywhere, you could drop your keys, you could drop your phone. My job is not to say anything. I should go around the cone now. Not pay for the stick. And you've got to be ready. You've got to learn the hand signals. You've got to be ready to go like this if you wanted to get something, not point at it. And it is, if you said, what is this? It is the opposite of pointing. Yeah. Whatever the opposite, whatever pointing spelled backwards is, that's what it is. All right. So I can, I can think I can get her to run around the comb by just moving the basket a little bit. Moving the basket to here cause her to go around a different way. You know, and you might have to play around with that. I'm sure there's a way to figure out real fast how to get them doing it. Oh, I even left the remote in there. So, Steph, her new thing is not just bring all the things, just bring the whole basket. Oh, you know what? I should get a basket with a handle on it. Then you can, uh, then I can make her walk around and put stuff in the basket, like a little shopping. Okay, there's my, yay, yay. There was my cone. So I got my behavior that I wanted. Anyway, guys, hang on. Let me go get one more. Anna's on the way over. I like this new early show. If I, um... Just change my schedule around a little bit. Then I can get done early by nine o'clock because it's gonna be hot out this summer. So I hope I'm on the same feed. I think it just cuts out when you get a phone call. All right, let me go get uh, Casper real quick. I'll be right back.
This is the new format. Steady stream. Hours at a time get every one of my subscribers on here. All the ones who forgot about me. Because I neglected them. Anyway, what I've got here is... Oh, crap. Okay, sorry. I hope this is one steady stream. If you go to a different app, I guess it's... Oh, you're gone. They take you off live. Uh, so what I've got is what I call Greg's collar, which is this, this is a prototype for the his pager only collar. And I think the reason you don't need a tone because a tone this is better than a tone because it's 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 louder, it's easier to hear, and it's it's got the added component of being able to feel it. So what I've got again. I'm starting out with all of them. If you're getting out and you've got a dog that's over in the grass, sniffing around, and when you take off walking, it doesn't even come with you, you've got to get that part first. You know, I'm not telling this dog to do anything, but it, you know, it knows the moves. And he's choosing to, you know, I'm saying to myself, if he chooses to do this without the leash, I'm probably in pretty good shape. You know, if I'm not, telling him to do anything because there's no risk of failure if I'm starting to walk around and he's not following me then I'm saying to myself I need to go back and get accomplish that I'm not saying to myself he needs corrections I'm saying to myself he doesn't find he's not that into me well he tries to poke all right so I want to get my collar on because you do want him to be leash trained but you don't want it to be, and I gotta keep an eye out for Ann's gonna be here in a minute. I can, and sometimes you should, prevent, present the leash and collar as a singular piece of equipment. And you are definitely, definitely hooking it to the collar because I want you to see it's very, very obvious. Again, when they say don't pull on us, who are these people? You know, if you're pulling a little bit and it's paging, that's and the pager's turning off, if the pager's going, and then the pager goes off, you know, it's not too hard for them to figure out what's going on. And it's a very consistent thing to give, you know, to other handlers. That's what you've got to look at. All right, so I'm getting the collar on. No fanfare. I'm out of there. I'm making sure I've got slack in my leash. I'm probably looking at my pager too much. Now I am going to start with my verbal. Casper. I can turn him with the pager. And I'm, I'm doing the little kid training because he's got, he's got two little girls at home. So he, I don't want to do it too fast. I can get him in the little boxes. I can turn him this way. And I'm saying to myself, bend him over there to that X. Going this way. Start bending him here. Bend him, bend him, bend him. Boom. Bend him, bend him, bend him, bend him. If you, if you can't bend the dog at all, I mean... It's not going to work. I, I don't know what else to tell people. If you lack any ability, so I can bend it this way. I'm using the leash to help me. I'm starting my pager right there. And then I'm working on the down. Put my foot on there, down. I want him to understand Yay. a certain mechanics of going down. Yay. So when, when there's pressure on that leash, I am adding that pager. 
But he's not making him blink. It's not making his head. You know, he's he's still. It's not a correction, and it's more just meeting resistance. I want you to think of that as being different. You know, if you. They understand that like running into the wind. They understand that's meeting resistance. Yay! Yay! Casper, I can pick him up. No, I'm right back. You know, he's not. He's got a lot of detail at a slow speed, and you've got to have that. Down. There's my. Yay! So he's doing like a little paw paw set himself down. You'll get a flashy down. You've got to stick with it, but you'll get a flashy down like Scarlet. All right, I want you to watch. I can turn him this way by ruddering the leash and doing the pager. If none of your leash work involves the leash being out in front of the dog, you're not doing it right. Heel. So the leash is in front of the dog. I'm leading him. You know, I mean, it's here now, but, you know, I can rudder him around. There's my foot. And again, it's not a correction as much as he's meeting resistance. He's meeting resistance and he's learning the that when he meets the resistance, just lay back down because I'm pushing him back down with the pager. Yes. Yes. I can pick him up. If you can get one without down, that's my pager. Yay. 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 You fought me a little bit, Casper. Yay. And I can make him go this way. Yay. And I'm not gonna, oh, leave it, leave it, nothing like that, but I did just use that as a chance to Yay. fall through. But if you can't, if you can't, if the dog won't move, there's a couple things that's going to tell you whether you're doing things wrong. If the dog won't move freely around on the leash, then you've done something wrong. And if it doesn't have any defaults to what you taught it to do, if you were teaching it down and it never defaulted to doing it on its own, it only did it when it was prompted, that would be you. I mean, that would be, that would be handler error. Anyway, Sophia, I hope you're there. I don't see any comments. Does not even one person... Do I have the comments turned on? All live chat messages. There's none. It's absolutely awful. I keep trying to go back on Facebook, but it won't let me. And then every time I try, then it sends me this message that says, if you think this was a mistake, click here. And then it gives you this little box to type in. And I'm to the point now, oh, I beg of you, this has been a, just some dreadful mistake. Maybe if you just keep bothering, you know, please, I mean, my advice to them is please look at my channel. I'm hard, I'm the, I'm such an original content creator. I don't have to steal anything. All right, so I've got my pager now, but I'm still thinking I have to be able to run with the dog around, even if the leash isn't there. So I work on that a little bit. Casper. I can get back in my boxes. Here's my pager. You turn them this way. Bend them. And you do. You want to get as much of a bend. There's my turn. There's my down. Oh, you precious, precious little man. And there's my tail. And that's what you want. If they feel like that's the best place to be. I, I, it's hard to understand, but I don't correct jumping. And this dog was a terrible jumper. And he's still always going to revert to it because it's a learned behavior. But if you make them believe down, it, because if not, people don't make them believe down is any down. There's my pager. He sees the foot. And then I'm looking for the tail.
down. There's my pager. And you see he started to, yeah, he started to, and if you said why, because the tail was wagging the dog. He was getting excited because of what I was saying, and so then he's kind of reverted back to the jumping. But, you know, if you said, well, I don't have any ability to make a dog lay down and wag its tail, you've got to get that because they're not going to do it. They'll just keep jumping, and then maybe, maybe, maybe uh, you might be able to get them to do it, but down. There's my pager. It's called, you know, if you can wag the tail, you can wag the dog. You're, you're inside their head if you can do that. All right, look, so I've got my things, my dumbbells, my fake cell phones, and the keys. So. And my basket. I'm going to put them down here. And this dog has a shake to deliver to hand. From the time it was a very tiny puppy. It did it the first day, I think. Your job is get the treat as fast as possible and start looking back over there. ready, Mahesh. If he goes to drop it, because this is going to come in handy, you're going to say, you'll never have to pick up anything again. Oh, he's going to default to the laying down. Yay. If you, there, and I, I'm going to get it figured out. I'll have it figured out. Give me a couple more months, but I think you could routinely get them running around that cone as a byproduct of the shaped retrieve. I think it would only help you out. episode. I think uh, I think the knights want that black nail. I gotta get them out. Of the In fact, I'm gonna bring them out here tomorrow morning. I'll do puppy platform episodes. Anyway, you guys, you get the idea. And you can throw stuff once they've got a delivered a hand. I want you to understand. You can throw things, but you want to limit that. Because what I see people doing is they just get them too hyped up. I just still remember this one girl, Cutter was the dog's name. And that thing had so much ball drive. It was out of that Phyllis Jarose dog. Um, Ombre was the dog's name. It was a master hunter. Um, but this dog had a tons of drive and she took it out there. She was like, when the people make their kids smoke a bunch of cigarettes so they get sick of it, well, that fine. All right, so if I'm going to throw something, though, I always add a precursor. And I still got my deliver to hand on the other end. So if you throw something when you don't have the deliver to hand, I always do it as a, I always do a precursor without the quack. But you don't, I, I just can't stress that you don't always want to do that because then they just, they get too hyped up. Oh yeah, he's on the hunt now. And you do want to do some of it, but if you only started out throwing, that's what I want people to understand. If you started out and didn't do the deliver to hand and you're just 
throwing it, what you're risking is the, the deliver to hand part. It's going to be really hard to teach it in that context. All right, and I think he's, we want him to start doing it by default. If you drop your keys, which, you know, you, I just make it like I'm, you know, putting it in my pocket or whatever. Let me see if I can get him to default to the down. He's fighting himself. That was my job to make it happen really, really fast. He wasn't sure if he was supposed to be picking something up or whatever, but. Yeah, that's, I think any puppy can learn this. This this puppy learned it the very first day. He's gonna run around that cone, maybe. Oh, he'll, make, he'll get that stick and maybe. All right, hang on, I'll be right back with this doby. I'm almost done, it's not even nine yet. Anne's not even here yet. Oh, then I can do the great thing after she gets it.
see a Dobie tripping himself. Anyway, he's all loaded up. There was something. I think it was maybe an armadillo. It looked pretty big by the side of the road. He started chasing it into the ditch. Luckily, I run with a collar on him. I have to because... That's who he is. He likes chasing small animals. It's fun. They run. That's why he likes it. All right, but he will get my phone and my keys. I can put them somewhere, and then he can go get them. He seems to understand. Sit. That's what you have to understand with dogs, I guess. They're ready to get something. If I don't have good leash skills, and this dog is all awfully trained, if I don't have good leash skills, this dog is going to be lunging all over the leash. I'll be right there, girl. All right, just let me put him up real quick, just because Ann's unloading all the dogs out there. Uh, I'm going to go and go out there, and I'll be right back. <laughs> 